Well, the French Revolution's consequences, the, the legitimation of A, the normalcy of change, and B, uh, the sovereignty of the people, of course, were extraordinarily revolutionary ideas because if the people is sovereign and, and change is normal, then the people can keep changing the system all the time. And this is, of course, very upsetting to people who are in power. So the major, what shall I call it, the major political problem of the world system after the French Revolution was how to contain uh, uh, the populations within it now that these new ideas had gained legitimacy. And that's where I think the political ideologies come in. The political ideologies are created as a response to the legitimacy of these new cultural ideas. And it's no accident that the first political ideology to be created is conservatism. Conservatism emerges within a year. I mean, the, the two great books, Burke's and Demestre, are both written in 1790. You didn't have to argue for conservatism before you had the French Revolution. Suddenly, there were people who were arguing, well, th these ideas are terrible. Uh, they're disastrous. Uh, let's stop them. Let's push the clock back. That's why we sometimes call them reactionary ideas. And when conservatism emerges as an ideology, saying the ideas are disastrous, let's push the clock back, uh, let's put our faith in traditional, quote, institutions, uh, etc. Liberalism comes forward as a group of uh, as, a, as another ideology says, no, that's not the way to handle the situation. What we liberals say is the ideas are correct. Change is normal. People are sovereign. But now we have to implement these ideas. And it has to be done sensibly, rationally, not too fast. And above all, it has to be done skillfully. That is, we need to have experts, specialists, who will decide how to implement the kinds of changes which are good and inevitable, but only if they're done rationally. And for a while, we just had conservatives and liberals, but within the liberal faction emerged a radical faction who said, no, 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 let, let, let's, let's take it easy. Uh, the ideas are good, progress is inevitable, but who are these specialists? Why should we trust them? Uh, uh, the people themselves should uh, promote this change directly and as fast as possible. And so emerged the pattern of the modern world. Uh, the pattern of the modern world uh, in the 19th and first half of the 20th century was to have three main ideologies. Uh, on the right, the conservatives. On the, in the center, the liberals. And on the left, the radicals. Or sometimes they were called the Marxists or the socialists or whatever uh, the language uh, varied. And basically, they were arguing about how to control uh, the, uh, these, te these dangerous ideas espoused by the dangerous classes and with what speed one should move.